Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moemon, my Mono Water Run. And I suppose it's time to take care of Team Rocket and push them out of Seldon City. And I'll try to use Skull Kraken and Toxic Spray as much as possible this episode. And the grounds, they really, really need the levels to catch back up. Well, I'm guessing we're going to have to pull out the big guns when we get to Giovanni, at least a little bit. Depending on how many levels I pick up and um, how many times I'm willing to um, retreat out of here. Because let's face it, Skull Kraken's going to be relying a lot on Hyper Beam this episode. Probably, unless I'm going to rely a ton on tackle, which is a possibility. I can pull off a decent tackle attack after all. Not the best, but good enough to get by with at least. Oh, come on, I missed. How did I miss? Come on. 95% <sighs> accuracy and I miss. Second shot. Okay. Well, we'll send Toxic Spray out. I know Zubat loves to spam Supersonic and Confuse Ray, so... Might as well go with something that can throw out a good counter to it, I guess. Water Pulse. You're not the only one that can spam Confusion, you jerk. Oh, well, darn. I didn't think I was going to do that much damage. Got that right. That was just a dang kind of moment now, wasn't it? I better tell boss, now watch me disappear like magic, as you can see me, and there's no freaking stairway here. Apparently he's a wizard. He can just teleport through the floor, man. It's kind of impressive and scary. I mean, why does Team Rocket have wizards in their employ anyway? And where did they get them? I mean, I know I always um, joke about how there's a white magic circle in the first um, generation of games that implies there should be black magic and stuff, but... We don't really make, meet anyone else ever that can use any of that stuff, so I'm assuming it was sort of a mistake they put in there. It doesn't have to be like a healing field or something. I don't know. Um, let's see. Hyper Beam. Let's just take you out real quick. And I love using Hyper Beam every now and again. Well. Ooh, level 25. As soon as we can learn Dragon Rage, right? Solid Kraken can't learn more than four moves. Yeah. We can get rid of Splash. Because Splash is useless to us. So, might as well just toss it. Yes, the Dragon Rage. As we all know, the sailors tell stories about the Dragon Rage. At least that's what Misty taught us. Well, that way we can avoid um, the hyper beam restriction. Water pulse. You're going down, rat. Maybe not this turn, but definitely not going to survive another turn. Ooh. Well, quick attack then. I think we got enough damage not to pull it off. And boom, Radicate's taken care of. Nice. This is pretty easy so far, but that's because we got like seven levels on most of this stuff here. Okay. Ooh, an escape rope. That might come in handy later. <sighs> Depending on how long I spend in here. Might as well take you out now. After all, I'm going to have to probably come back up th through here at one point with the elevator to go heal, so... We're going to have to eliminate you sooner or later, and I'll pick sooner for the moment. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, it might make more sense to go with um, Bite here. If only because being a Psychic, it's super weak to it. But even then, it doesn't do that much damage. Ugh. Guess I should have whipped out the Hyper Beam. <laughs> it probably would have finished it in one shot. Oh, well. Oh, it wants to send out a Machop, huh? Well then, I think I'll leave out Skull Kraken. It's part flying, after all. Okay, time for the Dragon Rage. At least it looks cool, even if it only does 40 points of damage. I'll give it a point for, you know, at least being visually enjoyable. Just because it involves fire. <laughs> 
Ironically enough, you can give Skullcrack and Flamethrower if you want to pick it up. You can't really use it for anything, but hey. It's awesome to see the giant, you know, sea dragon breathe fire anyway. I just wish I could use it more effectively. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can. And I want that scope. You know what? Your people are going to hand it over to me. If you know what's good for you. Okay, time for a Zubat, huh? Well, then. I guess we can try using Dragon Rage for a killing blow here. I'll give it decent odds of working. Yeah. I, like I thought, Zubat doesn't have the most um, health out there, so taking it out with that wasn't too hard. Okay. Yeah, the one downside of Dragon Rage is it's basically only useful when you first get it. Afterwards, it's kind of trash. Like, even Seismic Toss is technically better since it does damage based on your level, so once you get above level 40, Dragon Rage cannot out-damage it. Um... I'll still try it. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, what are you going to disable? Went for the Dragon Rage, eh? Can't blame you. Well, Skull Kraken's dominating this fight. Another Zubat? Yeah, I'll switch over to Toxic Spray then. If I could still do Dragon Rage, I probably would have to Skull Kraken in, but. I'm not sure I can finish off a tackle, and I'm not using up a hyper beam on a little weak bat. Ugh. That'd be a complete waste. <sighs> okay, I'll take the experience points. Not like I get a choice, right? Um, water pulse, quick attack. That'll be enough. Oh shoot. I forgot how big the cap was here. All his monsters are level 17. Not sure why, though. Um, 517, I guess? Maybe it's meant to be a joke. Um, I'm just not sure what the joke is. Okay. I'll take that. I got no use for it, but I'll take it. Okay, TM12, eh? Well, that'd throw me out of here. Okay. Let's see. The item is mine. Yeah, I know. I don't really need most of these items, but I feel like collecting them anyway. Let's see. Um, yeah, this way. Though I think I need to go downstairs before I can get anything useful out of this. Okay. It's a bit late to be activating the intruder alert system, you know? Considering how far I'm in, you think someone would already know I'm here. Especially after all the trainers I've taken out. Well, whatever. Take that. Be intimidated by my very presence, Grimer. Just just disable my tackle attack. Okay. Son of a gun, take my Dragon Rage, then. And it's over. Hmm. Another, um, coughing, eh? Well, this one might pull off a survival. It's level 20, after all. That extra little bit might just help. Oh, darn, it's going for poison. And by all looks, it succeeded, probably. No, it didn't. Weird. <sighs> okay, that's coughing down. Now what's left? 
Come on, game. Reveal your secrets. What's next? Another coughing, eh? Well, Hyper Beam. I know it's a bit wasteful, but like I already established, I'm probably going to have to heal up before I go face off against Giovanni anyway. Just to make up for all the attacks I'm going to blow through. Unless I want to rely on um, Toxic Spray, because I could probably use Water Pulse to win if I'm going to keep relying on Skull Kraken for most of these um, other trainers out here. Uh, that doesn't feel like much of a gain. Wow, such a great description. Uh, I'll skip that one. Okay, let's go downstairs and get that key then. Let's see. I want that. Well, it's more useful than most of the other items I've gotten from here. I'll give the game that much. Okay, that's gonna throw us out. That'll throw us... Not out, but not anywhere I want to be. Wow, he doesn't pick a fight with you if you come through there? you think he would. Oh, bag. Why not? Let's give to him... Um, Skull Kraken. That way it looks cooler because he's wearing glasses. Sunglasses. Honestly, the only reason to really give it the um, sunglasses is on the grounds it makes its bite more powerful. Not maybe the best reason, but hey. It's a reason to do it. You have the lift key. I know you do. I've done this many times before. I could have saved time by coming down here straight away, but, you know, my um, OCD for collecting item store went off when I saw all those item balls earlier. Ugh. Sometimes it's really hard to resist, what can I say? Um, Hyper Beam. That way I can avoid smog. So if I get poisoned, I'm going to have to use up a valuable antidote. I'd rather not do that. Oh, you want to use a Zubat, eh? Well, I got Toxic Spray ready right for you. Okay. And let's see. Water Pulse. The sad part is I'm probably going to be relying on Toxic Spray for a lot of battles in the future. As I'm pretty sure it learns some ice attacks on its own. You know, you could just pick that up immediately after you dropped it, you know? Just turn around and grab it. You don't have to be like, oh, I dropped it and I can't pick it up again, because, you know, that's not really a thing. You could have just turned around and picked it back up. Okay, if there's an item back here, I want it. Oh, you did, huh? Did they tell you I was unbeatable? Because, quite frankly, you guys are so crappy. I pretty much am invincible as far as you're concerned. Um. Oh, I'm a chop. Oh, wow. So scary. Especially after I hit its main damage stat. Well, time for some Dragon Rage. Ooh, lower my defenses, huh? I guess that's one way to pick up for your lowered offense. It doesn't really matter to me that much, though. Okay, and that leaves another Machop, huh? Well, I'll leave Skull Kraken out for now. And go with another Hyper Beam. Okay. Victory is mine. <sighs> yeah, of course you lost. You're a grunt. What did you expect? It's like you're a gym leader or something. Oh, come on. Frustration's a useless technique. No one in their right mind would use frustration. Seriously, what kind of trainer likes to make his Pokemon unhappy? You'd have to be a monster. I don't like doing that to your Pokemon, man. Okay. 
And then boom, 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 and we're at the elevator. Okay. Floor one. Sure, getting out of here would require hitting up basement floor four if I want to get rid of Giovanni, but, you know, before we go back, hit up the Pokemon Center and get some recharges on um, hyper um, beams and stuff. Because I figured, you know, it'd be handy. Be intimidated by my awesome presence. Okay. And our last Hyper Beam misses, of course. Well, you can't disable it since it missed. And if you disable this technique, it's pointless because I don't have any more casts with it anyway. Um, let's see, Tackle. Bite may have been the better option there, I'm not sure. Oh, great, we're going with the evasiveness tactics now, huh? Well, better pop you for you get a chance to really jack up your evasion. That would be a problem to deal with. A problem I'd rather not have. Okay, we're probably gonna have to get poisoned this fight. Possibly. We'll try a bite for a flinch, maybe. Sweet. And this does a lot more damage anyway. Okay, moving on. I don't know if I'll be keeping Bite forever, though. Even with the black glasses, there's only so much I can really do with it. With my, um, special stats. Okay. Let's head out to go heal real quick. Then we can come back in and deal with Giovanni and his, um, last few guards. Too bad you can't run through the, um, gambling corner. But it is what it is, I suppose. Well, at one point I had thought about um, farming enough coins to pick up Ice Beam. <sighs> it would have been easier to do that than level up um, Toxic Spray to a high enough level to get Aura Beam. And it would have been more powerful to boot, so it would have been the better option. I'll probably do that eventually, but not right now. <laughs> it, it'd eat up far more time in grinding than I really want to spend, suffice to say. Okay, going through the hideout. Wait, 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 not down those stairs. We got a much easier way to get to the elevator. Because I unlocked it earlier, and I'm intending to use it now. I'm surprised there's not an entrance on floor 3 for this thing, but... Maybe they thought that would have been too convenient, I don't know. Okay, I'll take the calcium. I'll probably use it later, off screen. Oh, you're at Mount Moon, huh? Or have you heard of me? Okay, let's see what you got. Sand Shrew? Uh, if only we start out with Toxic Spray, this would be a much easier fight. Because I'd be just like, boom, hit him with the water spray, and it's all over, you know? Okay. Poison Sting. Ah. Somehow we've been avoiding getting poisoned this episode so far. I'm kind of surprised. Usually I'm not that lucky. Usually if an enemy throws out Poison Sting, and bam, it works. Or I'll run into a Poison Point or something. Atkins, huh? Ugh. Well, I guess it's going to return my favor of usually intimidating my opponents to me at least. Lear, huh? Not a terrible pick, I suppose. But not a particularly great one, either. Because I can always switch out for it. Which I'm going to do, let's face it. It makes no sense to use, um, Sand Slash. Use, um, Skull Cracking at Sand Slash, because I'd have to rely on Hyper Beam if I wanted to end the fight quickly. And I have just a much better option with Water Balls. I can do super effective damage, potentially confuse it if it survives, and we'll probably kill it anyway. 
And that way, Toxic Ray gets a big HP boost. Not HP boost. Experience boost. Jeez. Apparently, I'm not all awake right now. May not be affecting my battling, but it's definitely affecting my ability to speak properly right now. Ugh. Let's see. Atkins, right from the get-go. Remarks, right, these two basically use the same teams, don't they? Well, I guess that means I'll be switching over to Toxic Spray after this, probably. The Battle of the Intimidates, why not? <sighs> okay. Glare, huh? So you're going for Paralysis. Okay. Paralysis and flinching tactics. Gotcha. Not, not a bad combination. I have to admit, it's not a terrible idea. I mean, para flinching is a thing, after all. Um, it's just not gonna work here. At least not well enough. I guess I should see what C Flash picked up for me. Maybe it'll be a useful item. Maybe it won't be. Of course, this thing's gonna get just drowned out of existence. <sighs> this Sandshrew wasn't trained by that one guy in the anime who made sure his Sandshrew was, you know, super tough. Oh, it's Arbok? Well, great, Intimidation's gonna go off. I suppose I could have switched to fix that. But forget it. Intimidation really doesn't matter to someone using Water Pulse anyway. Well, let's see. Nope, no poison yet. Darn. Feels so weird. Okay. And that takes care of the Team Rocket Grunt. I'll take those precious Poké Dollars of yours. Let's see, I should have a Paralyzed Cure in my bags here. There we go. Salt Kraken was cured, and now I want to go check out what Sea Flash picked up. Come on. PP up, come on. Ah, just a berry. Ugh. I don't care about berries. Why are you so impressed? Your minions suck! They suck so hard! Ugh. Seriously, I don't even know why they follow you, they're so bad. They're completely worthless. Worst minions ever, I swear. Well, darn, if I started off with Toxic Spray, this fight would be over instantly. Eh. One water pulse and boom, Onyx falls over. As is, I guess I'll have to use Dragon Rage and Bite tactics. Eh. But with all the um, Intimidate in, in play, it doesn't do enough damage to really matter. Ugh. Plus, Onyx's strong po point is not really attacking, it's taking hits. That's why Brock is at Bite, after all. It can actually make it work. Um, I'm assuming the opponent can't exploit its weaknesses. If you can, uh, yeah, it's toast, but... If you can't take it down quickly, you basically have to bide time doing other stuff. And if you're, um, lazy... You might just give your Pokemon all um, attack options instead of having them have any support skills and get royally boned by it. Of course, that early on in the game, usually you can use Growl and stuff while it's biting um, to weaken it further. Kangaskhan, huh? Well, I'm pretty sure that's a normal type, so Water Pulse wasn't going to really um, work on it that well. I could Hyper Beam it, though. I definitely know I can't use sleep tactics on it. Now well, let's see. Um, we'll set up with a Dragon Rage. And hope it doesn't flinch us, I guess, while we try pulling off our Hyper Beam, but... I'm afraid if I do this, you know... I'm more guaranteed to get that kill when I want it. Okay, lower my defenses a bit. And the Hyper Beam is successful and connects. Had my fingers crossed on that one, but still wasn't powerful enough. Oh darn, now it's using my sword tactics against me. And I got recharged this turn, so I'm 
Well, not this turn, last turn. But it's faster than me, so it's gonna get the win. Unless I want to use up my Hyper Potion. And I don't. I guess I should have went with two Dragon Rages, then one for Hyper Beam. Darn. Oh, shoot. Kangas Khan's a lot quicker than I thought, man. Well, that takes care of it. Goodbye, Kangas Khan. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it can be. I'm sorry. You can't accept it, but it happened. You lost. I don't even want to know what you're trying to achieve, man. You're evil, that's all I need to know. And thanks for the scope. Well, I suppose I'll do for this episode. Next time, we'll be returning to Lavender Town in order to take care of Pokemon Tower. Until then, see ya.